Good morning. What especially gave Paul hope? We're looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 17 to 20. Let's see what the Bible says. But we, brethren, having been taken away from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored more eagerly to see your face with great desire. Therefore we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again. But Satan hindered us. For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? For you are our glory and joy. So while those who fought against God tried to prevent Paul's work from going forward, God was bringing Paul along anyway. He was bringing his workers along. And Paul repeatedly and continually sought opportunity to go back over the ground where he'd gone and worked before. He wanted to go back and strengthen the believers in those churches where he'd served, where he had raised them up and delivered them and baptized them and brought them into the work. Paul had a plan to go back through and keep on strengthening the churches. But it didn't always happen in the timing or in the way that he wanted at that time. But he kept at it. Now the most telling part of our passage today is here at verses 19 and 20. Let's read it again. For what is our hope or joy or crown of rejoicing? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ that is coming? For you are our glory and joy. That's the most telling part here. Paul's hope, his joy, his very focus ultimately was that when Jesus came, when the second coming would happen, that, that the deliverance of God would be there for those that he had helped come to Jesus. That was his, his main peace. That was his main hope. He wanted to see them delivered by Jesus at the second coming. And so this is what he says. He says it out loud right here at this verse 19. Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? He wanted the people to be ready when Jesus comes. It's the same today too, isn't it? We, as workers for God and workers with God, we want everyone to be ready when Jesus comes. And 1 Thessalonians has a lot to say about Jesus coming and the things surrounding that, and we'll see more as we carry on. But the believers need to be ready for Jesus. We, we sort of fizzle out. We, we don't think about the great deliverance that God is working out for us right now, but God is coming. Jesus is coming, and he's longing to do it, and he's looking forward to delivering you. We need to be thinking about this extreme deliverance all through the world, all through the time. Uh, there are things that just seem like they go on and on and on and on, but we're coming to a turning of the age, and it is imminent, and it very easily should happen in our lifetime today, 6,000 years downstream from Genesis 3. So what a beautiful and wonderful day it will be when Jesus delivers us. He wants to deliver us from slavery to self and Satan. He wants to take us to heights of blessing that, that we want to deepen our heart, we want to go to. So we need to let him do it. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for watching over us. Again, Lord, we are praying that we will be on the team, that we'll be working and ready, that we'll be delivering, helping other people find you and and doing our part, Lord. We won't be saved by doing our part, but you want us to do many things to help people come to you. So bless us, Lord. Guide us. Bring us along and help us all to be ready at your coming, at the appearing of Jesus. Lord, may we be ready. And may we say, oh, this is our God. We have waited for him. May we be joyful on that day, that intense uh, day that will be death to so many, will be life to us. Lord, help us to be ready for that day. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. The fulfillment of Bible prophecy indicates that this time is very close at hand. So let's be seeking out Jesus. Earth is coming to an emergency moment. It is the imminent return of Jesus. It's very close. It will be literal, visible, physical, audible, personal. Jesus is coming back. We want to be ready. We want to be ready to be delivered. God be with us day by day as we walk with Jesus toward that day.